I have been a counselor doing couples and individual counseling for over 25 years. In the course of my journey, I have had the privilege of counseling mothers and fathers of young men and women who realized that they were attracted to same gender individuals. When counseling the families of a child who is attracted to someone of the same gender, I see behavior that covers everything from disowning the child to being crushed by the new information to acceptance. But most stick by their child and all suffer great emotional pain. The reason for the pain is connected to the revelation of the gender orientation information they receive, which comes from a negative law of our society. Laws that identify individuals as being different promotes abuse. Out of the many feelings that parents have, the most powerful feeling is that the child is now in danger of being hurt or killed by someone who sees gays and lesbians as fair game for ridicule and abuse. The fear is grounded in our society's history of maintaining and sometimes maiming and sometimes murdering gay individuals. The fear is there because of our society has set up a system where we segregate out gay individuals as being not worthy of the same rights and privileges that other segments of our society have. Every law that segregates out a segment of our society and labels them put that segment in a very vulnerable place. We saw it in the laws discounting the rights of African Americans, which led to lynchings, separate facilities from restaurants to toilets, and keeping them at the back of the bus. We saw it with the laws that said women were not worthy of the same rights as men, they couldn't vote. They were considered to be by the courts to be chattel of their husbands, and they were considered to be not worthy of opportunities in the workplace. For years, we have seen in the way we are treating the folks in the gay and lesbian community. This is not a debate about marriage. This is a de debate about rights or the lack thereof and how we see those denied their rights. Churches, Parents, schools, and communities take segregationist laws and teach them to the children in a negative way which leads a child to believe that the segregated community is evil, it is to be shunned, and yes, even abused, which can and does lead to violence. In the book, The Killing of Stephen Jones, that, profiles, that profile is played out to the letter. The book, The Killing of Stephen Jones, was set in a southern uh, town, but the killing really took place in Bangor, Maine, where a young gay man was attacked by other young men because he was gay. He was beaten and thrown off a bridge to his death. The young men who killed Stephen Jones were taught to hate gays by their fathers and the minister in a very subtle, quiet way. Last night, as I watched the news, an ad came on sponsored by the opponents of this LD-1020, and it showed concerned parents saying, if this bill passes, they will start teaching homosexuality in the schools. That goes against our standards. They won't even have to ask the parents. Now this ad promotes fear and a negative attitude about the individuals of the gay community. It promotes segregation and the lack of understanding. So the campaign is on to teach kids that they don't talk to, about, or with gays. Keep them out of sight and out of mind, just as the Clinton administration had a policy of don't ask and don't tell for our military. Laws promote societal attitudes about segments of our society. LD20, if passed, would take some of the stigma off the gay community that has put, been put there by the laws as they stand. We have enough destructive attitudes in our society today without continuing a law that not only discriminates but promotes a negative attitude and fear toward individuals. Please let's refocus this state and stop singling out the members of the gay and lesbian community 
while putting them in harm's way. Please pass LD 1020.